our Persons of the Week. It's the time of year when high school seniors wait anxiously to find out where they've been accepted to college. But for one class of high schoolers, the odds were stacked against them. The idea of college, at one point, far-fetched. But something extraordinary happened. Listen, DeAndre Jones. The first graduating class at Urban Prep Charter Academy has a ritual. When they're accepted to college, they receive a special tie of red and gold. Each and every one of them has been admitted to a four-year college or university. Each and every one of these seniors, 107 of them, are going to college, and impressive ones. I've been accepted to Flanders Smith College in Little Rock, Arkansas. Earlham College is another top school for me. I plan on going to University of Illinois in Champaign-Urbana. Can't name them all off the top of the hand, but I know there's Trinity College. And this Harvard is not some private school. Urban Prep Charter Academy is actually a public school on the south side of Chicago. It can be a tough neighborhood for a high schooler. It is open to all students, and there's a lottery. As freshmen, just 4% of this class was able to read at grade level. But this school's mission, to turn that around and to get every one of these students to a four-year college, no matter what. How are you, Mr. Barnes? But how do they do it? When each new student okay? walks into this school, they're given a wristwatch. Part of our creed uh, reads, uh, we make no excuses. There was no excuse for me being late. I have a watch. I know what time it is. Our students end up graduating with 10 and a half credits of English. Traditional schools, it's four or fewer. They're in a double period of English each and every day. Four years of math, four years of science, four years of social studies, three years of foreign languages. And that adds up to a lot more time in class than the average school in America. Students attend school from 8.30 in the morning until 4.30. That equals 72,000 more minutes in high school, almost an extra year. It's, it's an eight-hour day, so it prepares us for having a job. This was the first all-male charter school in the country. Educators here wanted these young men to concentrate on the books, not the girls. These young men are ready. They wear suit jackets and ties here, and they wear it with pride. This is their job, and people dress up for their jobs. Now that I walk down the street, I know that people are looking at me and they're paying attention to who I am because I don't look like everyone else. It distinguishes us. This uniform shows that, you know, oh, he's wearing a tie. He wants to do something with himself. Four years from now, we will be celebrating Urban Prep's first class to graduate from college. And we're cheering with them. So we choose Tim King and all the young men of Chicago's Urban Prep Charter Academy. So far, the students have received more than $2 million in scholarships and grants, and they've learned the most important lesson of all, just how far they could really go. And they are just on their way. Keep those watches on.